we have posted the agenda in three places, correct? Yes. And on the website? Yes. In Harlan, you're saying that you didn't you didn't get an emailed one, so we're going to verify that yeah, that is yeah. um no. yeah. yeah yeah all right mm -hmm. okay at this time does anyone have any additions to the agenda hmm? you do no you do of course yes yes the missing books. And Mason, you. Yeah. Um, announcement. All right. So the um, before we get started, I'd like to approve the minutes from the last meeting, except with one correction, because it was left out your announcement of on the last meeting, Mason, that you were. Um, um, regarding the value of email and the email list as a um, valuable communication vehicle between the town and its residents, and you're recommending people to join the town's listserv. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Um, you guys have any other corrections on that? No. 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 All in favor? No. Aye. 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 Thank you. Yeah, we have no guests, so we've got, um, let's see, Joan, what's going on in your world, uh, our world? It's called FEMA. FEMA, yeah. <laughs> um, that's been pretty much it for the past number of weeks. Mm -hmm. We are closing in on completion of all the documentation just for what's been, the work that's been done up to this point. And of course, there'll be more starting up in the spring. Excuse me, um, you're talking about Bethel Mountain Road. No, this no. is all the FEMA sites. All the FEMA sites, I'm no, sorry. Bethel Excuse Mountain me. Road is done. Done, <laughs> yeah. Done, done, <laughs> Been done. Um, so we have uh, a, a date tomorrow with two folks from FEMA who are bringing portable scanners with them, and we're going to spend the day scanning documents. Wow. And then hopefully, we will be sort of done with that phase. But I'm sure there will be errors and omissions to correct after the fact, but that will be sort of cleaning things up until work gets started again in the spring. And I don't know exactly how that works um, with documentation, probably similar to what it's been for what's happened up to this time, except maybe less work. Do we know um, if any of the sites that have been repaired are going to need to be redone? Uh, it's not so much redone, but there was work left undone. Mm -hmm. um, you know, most of the roads, if Cooter were here, he could tell you better than I, you know, the roads and the, and the damaged sites were all brought to a point where, you know, they're safe to, to use, but there is still work to be done, cross drains to be installed, more cross drains to be installed or upsized, mm -hmm. uh, more general road surface repair, some ditching. That sort of thing. So that's yet to be identified exactly where no, they Peter are. Has, okay. has it all in his head. I know a few <laughs> of those sites will be putting much of it out to bid, but not necessarily all of it. And I'm sure he knows by now which parts the town crew will be able to do, which parts are going to be put out to bid. Okay, very good. And then after that, uh, with Federal Highway, um, the only thing I still have to do there is I have the reimbursement request to them for the town's direct expenses, about 90% finished. Um, so as soon as this phase of FEMA is completed, I'll be able to get back to that and submit that. And that'll be a sizable chunk of money. Uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of, well, a little bit north of 500,000. Good, and yeah. More reimbursements. I still have to do, I'm a little behind on that <coughs> last two road work that we did on Bethel Mountain Road, that grant that was transferred mm -hmm. from the engineering work over to the cost range, but I have to submit that. That's nearly ready to go, actually, so I'd like to see you later and we do need to create a sign up the request. And then there's the grant and aid on Ingo Road, which was completed a number of months ago. So you still need to submit that as well? Yeah. The grant and aid, yeah. excuse me. It's not that request, it's the 
reimbursement request. And uh, the next round of that will be coming up fairly soon also. March, probably, March or April. Great, thank you. Tony? We have a trustees meeting tomorrow at six o'clock at the library, of course. All right. Um, Cooter is not here to talk about the highway stuff. We still don't have the um, truck back, do we? No. I don't think no. so. No. No. So, um, hopefully before the next storm, uh, maybe I think he was working on his heating system. Yeah. In his house, it broke. Oh, that's where he is. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. Do you want a copy of the agenda? Oh, not necessarily. But we do have Terry here. We do have Terry here. Have you got any special reports from the um, <clears throat> water and sewer world? No, I just would like to know if they're going to shovel hydrants. I pointed that out. I pointed that out to him today. They are starting to get piled up. I, I mentioned that to Mike today. So yeah, I noticed the same thing. So and he's um. He's Come been, Friday, they're going to be really tight to get out. Yeah. Yep. I'll remind him again. So this is the road crew that's going to do that? No, this no. is the um, contractor for the Sidewalks. sidewalk clearing. Okay, sorry. Yeah. You might be lucky it might all be melted. Like, um, well, he tends to hope for that to happen, but there's, um, I don't it's think that's good. It's melting. It is melting. <laughs> it is melting. <laughs> it is melting. <laughs> but I don't know if it's going to melt that much. But, um, yeah. Um, so in terms of... Um, New business, we've got an approval of a liquor license for the Skip Mart, liquor and tobacco. And um, I would move second. to approve. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. All right. Aye. All right. got um, in terms of the old business we've got um, the highway mileage certificate that is due by the 20th which is before the next meeting so I see that um, Bruce you had been working on some additions but we know we're just going to file this as is for now that's what I thought okay so um, I'd move to go ahead and, and execute this and send it off to the state I second that all in favor Aye. Aye. all right On that That's that. And we had um, Harlan. Do you have a question? Do you have anything to report? You know, that's it popped up with the Not that I've, missing book. No, I haven't seen Tom. Do you know anything about that? I don't. I was. Um, I do apologize. I was going to look downstairs um, last week, and something else came up and would escape me. But I'm going to do it. Hopefully, if Julie can remind me tomorrow. <laughs> and so that's in the town office basement. You're going to look at it. Thank you. Right. Um, I don't know if anybody else has noticed it, but when you're coming into town off of 73. The first thing you see is that stupid speed sign down there, blinking, that you can't even read the damn thing. Can we at least shut yeah. it off? Yeah, there's two of them like that, actually. Well, actually, the north one seems to work. It kind of. All of a sudden, yeah. It's not, yeah. You yeah. know, when you're coming into town for the first time, that's not the yeah. first thing you want to see, I don't think, personally. Well, it's, um, I mean, yeah, it needs yeah, to be, I see your point. to fix it. No, it needs, oh, to, it needs to be taken down and, yeah. Or just fixed, shut it off. fixed or not use it. Yeah, I thought of, I, th I saw it myself. I, you know, it's just kind of yeah. That's all I got. All right, yeah, that's enough for you. Okay, good. Um, 
the um, got time, got bills. Um, Mason, you have an announcement you'd like to make? Uh, yeah. Um, next Monday night, President's Day, at 7 p.m., is uh, at Stockbridge uh, Historical Town Meeting Hall, Dr. Alan Bates, Atmospheric Research, will be speaking. And it's a great opportunity for Rochester voters who have questions related to the care of the earth to be able to listen to him for about 45 minutes and his questions and answers for 45 minutes. And this may help people decide which way they might want to vote on the article that's uh, uh, upcoming at town meeting. So this is a great opportunity for that. This is a guy that writes the article and this is it a long time? Uh, uh, no, in uh, green. Oh, okay. And the green yeah, paper. What time again? Uh, 7 p.m. Seven. Okay. Uh, on Monday, it's still holiday, and encourage people to carpool. A great idea. Bring a neighbor, and uh, a, a good get together. So Mason, this is the Stockbridge Meeting House up on the green, right? Right. The common weather. Right. The right. historical meeting hall. Right. Okay. Thank you. I don't think I'm going to get there, but I'm, I'll get it in the paper. Right? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So that, um, I guess, would segue slightly into, I'll make an announcement about this Thursday, February 13th at 6 p.m. at Pierce Hall Community Center, there's going to be a community workshop, which has been um, put together by the Envision Rochester, which is a gathering of several of the different organizations and individuals in town, which is um, inviting the public to come and identify and prioritize community projects. And um, you're all welcome and spread the word to uh, do that, see if we can't drum up some, some more energy than the usual suspects to um, tackle some of the challenges that our town has. Yeah, there was, I had an article last Thursday's Herald that explains it if anyone needs more information yeah. and they have a copy of the paper. Yeah. All right. Um, oh, and I have another announcement. This could be like the shortest meeting that we've had in, in months. <laughs> you know, if, um, we've got, I um, think we've taken care of everything except just um, paying some bills. So, nope. Um, so the, the date when people will be receiving their annual town report? When is that expected um, to? It will be before the 22nd. 20, 20, yes, 21st, 22nd. Friday? No. Friday's 21st. the 21st. Before the 21st. Was it 20? So we're expected to receive them by then, you're saying? Or? They will be They will be mailed as soon as we get them. Okay. Uh, so they are being printed, and they're required by law to be mailed no later than the 21st. Thank you. So that gives us a a, a good fifteen week, days. A week. Yeah, a good yeah. solid week to, yeah, to, to they're still at the printer. To study them. Right. Yeah. So probably in the Saturday mail. Yes. Monday I mail. I suspect they'll be out before the twenty first. Yeah. Yeah. So super. All right. Can't wait to see what you did with, for your dedication. Everything yeah. I got a question. I'm sorry to be late, everybody. But how did I miss an update on the Pine Gap Trail issues? Um, do I need to put we it on are, agenda for the future? Or we'll, well, not to, just for an update. We're waiting for a decision on the judge for the, re, the most recent request for a summary judgment on the, the most recent um, lawsuit against the town okay. that was claiming the road is not where the town says it is. Will that include a, a cost breakdown? How much it's cost in the town? We have an update on we that. Have, we have, have an update. You're talking about Pine Gap Trail? Yeah. yeah. No, Pine Gap Road or Pine Gap Trail. Yeah. Well, that is out there at Bingo that costs so much. Well, we know research. what he's talking about, yeah. It's, um, so we have an update we got today that in response to the most recent um, lawsuit we've spent thirty two hundred dollars 
yep. and, and change mm -hmm. about that. And that's um, on top of the previous lawsuit. You yeah. said how much? 3200 3200 and... The tally is up to date there. Is it? We're, we're up to just over $59,000. So the total tally? The back of the other yeah. Okay. yeah. $59,000. Oh, here we go. So the, the whole issue... There you have to split off. And the whole issue to date is yes. cost is sixty three thousand one hundred thirty three dollars and ninety eight cents, and that's over the course of two and a half years, about. Yeah. Thank you. About Roughly, three. three. You're you would know the ski trail, Pine Gap Trail, correct? No. No, I'm talking about how much money we spent. Oh, 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 okay. 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 I thought you had a question on that. Nope. There's Pine Gap Road, there's Pine Gap Trail. Right. You know, I've been out there a couple times. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully, um, perhaps before town meeting, we'll have a um, decision by a judge and, and put this chapter to rest. Is it the final chapter? Um, we'll find out. <coughs> so. If that's it, I guess we're um, we're done still. It's a pretty good 15-minute meeting. Not bad. Yep. 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 Thank you.